Hey, it's Compass Traveler here. Um, in this episode, we're going to talk all about travel tips and the best way to travel, um, as well as some adventures and stories of my traveling experiences. Um, all right, let's start off. So I'm a freelance travel journalist under the name Compass Traveler. Um, I have some travel tips and information that I wish I had before traveling. Um, there's some key parts of uh, making your travel experience more memorable, also including volunteer travel, spiritual and wellness travel, and your travel mindset. Um, it's all very good things to keep in mind while you're traveling. All right, so how to pack eco-friendly. So, and also minimalize and um, pack better for traveling. So minimalize the stack of clothes and crap. Um, all you need is six outfits and two pairs of shoes, honestly. Um, Flip-flops and sneakers, but if you're going to a cold place, boots and sneakers but less is always more when traveling. When folding, fold clothes into a tight roll. So fold them over and roll them over um, to conserve packing space. So what I do is I put them in little rolls, like little Tootsie Rolls, and then stack them like a log cabin, like do do do, horizontal, vertical, horizontal, vertical. And it saves so much space. Like it's, it's a great way to pack. Also pack eco-friendly. Um, so pack items such as reef safe, sunblock, um, and then environmentally friendly soaps, shampoos and conditioners are great because sometimes if you're a traveler like me, you're going to be going to places that have outdoor showers and um, the runoff from the shower is going to go all in plants and the soil. And so you want to just be um, mindful of what you're packing, what you're bringing to these countries. Um, you always want to leave no trace when you're traveling and you want to be as simply packed and as like efficient as possible. Okay, what people should you meet while traveling? Um, so I would totally recommend meeting the locals. Um, talk to as many locals as you can because that's where the good memories and experiences are gonna come out. Ask them questions, um, be intrigued by their home. You may be invited in a tour about their home or a local family dinner. I know when I went to China, I met a local family and they um, actually brought me to a traditional Chinese dinner because of that. Also, um, in Japan, I met a woman on the train and it was one of the best experiences um, I've had traveling. She brought me to um, an Alice in Wonderland cafe and we had a conversation over like these cute little desserts and stuff. Um, but she talked all about her uh, life in Japan and we she talked all about like the social socialization in Japan and how women are waiting longer to get married because they want to um, stay out of the house and they want to be more um, independent and career driven. And that's what she was doing. And it was really interesting to learn that because I wouldn't have learned that unless I um, met her and spoke to her. Um, also meet other travelers that have the same interests as you. So you're gonna be going to hostels, you're going to go to places and the people I've met the most um, they're from Germany, Spain, Australia, New Zealand, United States, etc. There's a lot of people that are traveling um, from all over the world. And if you make friends with people all over the world, the more likely it will be that you will travel um, with them again or um, visit them in the future wherever they are in the world. So it's awesome to have friends all over because they can come visit you and stay with you and you can come visit them and stay with them when you're traveling. All right, what places should you stay? So hostels are actually not that bad. Um, they're pretty freaking awesome. You get the local experience, you meet travelers and make friends and save a bunch of money that you can put into adventures and more trips. Um, Short-term hostels 
Stays at hostels are great. Um, long term, not so much. Uh, I would suggest if you are staying at a place for uh, longer, then you should rent out an Airbnb room instead or visit a friend you met in uh, while traveling and stay for free. Um, when I was in a hostel, I've always had great experiences. Um, I've met many people. I've just always had a good time and a very authentic experience. Um, I have only gone to hostels with other people. I've never gone alone. Um, I would say my favorite hostel was in Japan, um, in Kyoto, was it Kyoto? Or Okasaki. And um, it was like this little, uh, this hostel that was like, it had like, it was just so Japan themed. Like it was just awesome. But it had a bunch of people that were actually sleeping in like the wall. There was a, um, like the beds were like in the wall and then there'd like be a curtain or like a door to shut it. And it was like five, little like holes in the wall where you had your bed and like a little light and a charger and you would just go in there and it was super cozy and you just close your door and you'd have like you were like in the wall it was very interesting and you had like little um like sandals that you walked around in and like there's a little community room with like tea so that was like a great experience um and it was super clean and super awesome there's always like a person that's cleaning and person who's like taking care of all the dishes and all that stuff um so it's like a great place i would say the worst experience i had in hostel not so bad it was great um in i think it was in either nicaragua or costa rica in tamarindo a surf city there i was um, in, it was a, it's a surf shop on the front and in the back they had a hostel and it's a beautiful hostel with like this great community outdoor room with the hammocks and tables and a person who cleans the whole place for you and a big kitchen where you can make eggs and whatever in the morning. Um, and like five or six bunk beds in the community room and like a big bathroom that you guys share. So it kind of depends on like who you get stuck with in the hostel. Um, but we got stuck with some amazing people. Like we were drinking all night, having fun. Like we um, got to really bond and know each other. And we went out that night and then we came back and one of the big German men who was at the hostel was drinking a lot, uh, a lot more than anyone else. And he kind of was the last one to come back from the bar and was stumbling all over the place, stumbled back into the hostel late at night and literally puked all over my pillow, all over our bed, all over. So, um, like two in the morning, we had to clean up puke. But other than that, it was great. That's just one example. But yeah, I've had some good experiences and met some great friends and had some really good memories.